on air, online, on demand. Watch AFR when you want, where you want with CN8, the Comcast network. It is one of those questions that has stumped the experts for years. The question, is there life on Mars? Could there be Martians lurking around up there? Well, we'll talk uh, about this and uh, because it's become a hot topic all over again with the discovery of ice on Mars. And ice means water, and water could mean life. Derek Picks would know more about this. Derek is the chief astronomer at the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia. Derek, good to see you again. Welcome back. Thank you very much, Art. You, you, you have that smile there. I know a lot of scientists and astronomers <laughs> have been smiling. This ice, is, is it that big of a deal that uh, they discovered on Mars? It actually is a big deal, Art, and the reason why is because uh, NASA and the other scientists that are looking into this prospect are taking very, very deliberate steps to make sure that we analyze the right data and put everything in the right sequence for saying that there could possibly be life here on Mars. So. What NASA and the other scientists are doing is they're very deliberately chasing down individual aspects and water is the primary one. So they want to make sure that what they're seeing really is water before they move on to now the next we're steps. Looking, we're looking at the picture right now, Derek, and it's the white uh, portion uh, of the screen there where it, it looks like it was something that the, the rover kind of scooped up some of the ice. They've analyzed this and without question they know that it's ice, right? Yes, that's true. They have. And what they've done is uh, they actually saw a phenomenon take place, Art. What happened was they removed the dirt, saw the ice, and then some chunks of ice evaporated over a four-day period. And that told them that it was water. Okay. And, okay, you, you study this stuff. Yes. What's the next phase? Now, how can they then go back and look at that ice, look at that water? Are they looking for little organisms in this water to to know that there could possibly be something? No, they what actually... What happens next? What happens next, Art, is they're now going to analyze the soil and look at the soil to see what kind of chemical elements are in the soil. They're looking for organic chemicals, carbon, hydrogen, other uh, chemical elements of that sort to see that there would be the building blocks for food for microorganisms. They are not quite at the microorganism stage yet. They want to make sure that this location would be a possible habitable location for life. And from there, they'll start to make the next speculatory steps about the possibility of actual life. Now, now Derek, I've known you for a long time. I'm not making light of this, okay? That's okay. But, 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 but wouldn't a better indicator be for life on Mars if they saw some tracks somewhere, something walking around or crawling around? Then you can say, aha. There's life up there. <laughs> that's we haven't really, found any tracks yet, right? That's a really great question, Art, and you're right on track except for one thing. The life could be microorganisms that live in the soil or live in the ice. And we find plenty of this kind of life here on Earth that has no means of mobility, no legs, no arms, no little antennae. So it might be a form of life that is residential in one location. So that's why we have to make the steps, the small steps, to check to make sure that the soil is appropriate for life first. Now, I got you. And, and the next thing is is, and I know that there have been uh, many cases where, you know, we can study dinosaur bones and stuff that have been encased in stone and mm -hmm. in ice and those types of things where right. it's frozen in time. If they go deeper into the red planet, do you think that perhaps something could have been preserved in there that they could find? Well, this is really the hope that the scoop will be able to dig down more than just a few inches, maybe even 12 inches or more down into the ice layer and maybe, just maybe, might find something there that gives a stronger hint that life uh, did exist on the planet at one time, and uh, that is the next step. Yeah, and final question here. In the grand scope of the discoveries that have been made on Mars and everywhere else, how big is this one with this ice? Oh, the water is the biggest one ever of any discovery made anywhere else in the solar system. That's the real key. We find here on Earth, anywhere there's water, we find life. All right. Well, Derek, I know you get excited about these things, and you're always looking at it. Now, look, when you find some tracks, you be sure and let me know, because we'll have you back and talk about them, okay? I'll what, call you what first, Art. <laughs> what kind of tracks they could have been. Okay. Derek Pitts from the uh, Franklin Institute. Always a pleasure, Derek. Good to see you.